So turn the car on, ignition on, starter. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit nervous today. That's because drag racing, I'll be honest, it's really not my forte. Cletus is pushing me today to drive Ruby. If you guys don't know about Ruby, I'll probably have him introduce it in just a little bit. But we're at Cletus's hometown drag strip. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this drag strip in most of the videos. Everyone's bringing out their toys today. We have Selena on the other side. I might throw on the track today, but we have no tires on it and we have no tire changers that are here. So I'm not too confident that we're gonna be driving it today. Adam is about to go in Z-Roy, get some couple passes. Just kind of hanging out today and making some fun passes and I'm gonna learn a thing or two about the drag strip and you guys are too. A few of us are gonna be driving this car today. I think Taylor's gonna go first. That's but I'm gonna like have the community race car over here. It's kinda like it's kinda like the, the little slut. Everyone's getting a little taste, but I want kind of Cooper just Everybody to drives it. walk us through it a little bit because I know I don't know drag. Like I just it's not it's not I've never gotten into it. Grant, what are you looking at me like that for? What is that? Yeah, okay, I, mean, I said it a little weird. I'm not into drag racing. There you go, thank you. <laughs> what, <laughs> what do we got here? No, I'm not into drag. It's pretty simple. It's a junkyard 5.3 motor with Texas speed rods and pistons, saw crank, and it makes about 1,000 to 1,100, depending on the tune-up we have in it. It's power glide with a nine inch, so it's like a super, super common setup in drag racing. But they just work. The LS with a turbo like this, just, it just works. So, so you're saying it's like a sub eight second or low nines? Eight forties. Oh my god! You gosh. can run consistent eight forties with this car. And like Taylor's about to drive it, and you'll probably see if he runs anything slower than an eight seventy, I'd be surprised. Really? Yeah. And it's an automatic. And you're saying, or it's not automatic, or it it's is an automatic. automatic power glide, but there's only two gears: first oh. and second. Oh, that's right. That's faster. right. So you just once you see like fifty six hundred to like 58, 7,000, something around there. You shift and it keeps on, keeps on pulling. Grant, I hear you. What? I hear you talking. I didn't yeah. say Taylor, anything. wait up. Yeah, yeah I, totally I heard TJ's asking all these questions. <laughs> like how much does it make? There's, there's well, we two were... buttons on the wheel. You just, you just hold the one when you're, hold when that right. green light. Don't touch the green one. Well, when the Why? green light. I was saying, when you see the green light, you just so hold I wasn't the one talking. button. What, I, what Taylor <laughs> and I were talking about is, Things like drifting, you can kind of ease your way into them, right? You can yeah. do one turn, straight out. This, you kind of just got to go for it. You're in it. You're like, in it. You're, you're in, in it. You're in it 100%. You can't. Not true. We can turn it down, but we're not going to. No, don't turn it down. <laughs> I, oh, we I, can, but we're not. No. You're not going to do that to me, but. <laughs> no, it's not happening. Um, what? What? So you said we could turn no. it down, but it's not going to happen. No, I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest. It's just, I'm a, you just have to be confident. It's definitely, I'm out of my comfort zone. But I'm okay with that. I want to experience it. We drove this last year when he like just built it, and Garrett took us on a. You guys might remember if you were, if you were watching when we went to LZ's open house last year. We went on the street with this, and he got on it a little bit, and the whole thing stepped out, and it was the scariest moment of my life. But it was awesome. It was very scary. So we're gonna go for a little drive. He's gonna roll. I do it in a second. Okay. That's really scary, dude. Okay. <laughs> that. So that's the last experience I have of this. But I just have this fear because of drift. Like the moment I get down on it, I'm gonna be spinning down the track. But we're on a fully prepped track. It's super sticky, all the typical drag racing stuff. And they're saying it won't flip at all. No, it won't. With the way that the chassis set up and the suspension and everything, yeah, it, just, it, it won't. It won't spin. I'm just happy to be out of my comfort zone. I'm excited to see Taylor go. This is a perfect car to run a fast pass in. When it launches, you might get a little shooken up and like let off the gas, but do not let off the gas. Yeah, like it'll launch and, and take you back a bit. Garrett and Taylor have been like having that serious talk for about five minutes now. And we walked up earlier because Cooper was trying to show me something on the car. Garrett turns to us with a serious face and goes, hey guys, just give us a couple minutes here. So, it's pretty serious. He's writing a letter to his family. <laughs> Jeez. 
All right, boys, let's just see what we're getting ourselves into here. Took my shoe off on accident. I forgot. Oh, yeah. All right, Taylor. Good luck, brother. Wow, that looked that wow, that looked very very that wow, just wow, it was fast. Are you ready for that? That was fast. You, think you can handle that? Whatever, I'll do it. I'm gonna be kind of sad. You're gonna be in the eights before me. Oof. Seven one twenty six. Oh, my. Look, he's still going to run an eight second pass, letting off right after the eighth mile. Watch this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it didn't work. Still, he, he ran an eight, an eight last time. Yo, I've it? never seen a car wheelie in person before. Yeah, he just cruises in the basically with the wheels almost off the ground. Oh, What's stop. crazy is he's letting off at the eighth mile, so halfway, and still running almost as fast as Ruby. Oh, the still running an the eight. The craziest thing is on stock 240 axles and a stock dip, which is what? insane. No way. And then, just one, just one bump. You ready? You're a tall boy. Where's the neckers? Oh, you got them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Donut sucks, so that I got that one. All right, so here's the deal. We're gonna give you the lowdown, all right, folks? So, so most important thing, anything happens, this is your ignition button, right? So this is gonna want to be your first thing off. So, so turn the car on, ignition on, starter. Wanna press it? Push it. That's how you start it. That's how you shut it off. Okay. This button. This remains on all the time. This runs the ice box as well as it turns on the transmission brake. Okay? So we'll turn that on before you start it. You won't have to buy that at all. Okay? So this thing, pull that back, pull that all the way back. Let go of that ratchet thing. Okay. So you're in first gear there. Slap it forward. That's second gear. You can't go past that. Oh, unless that. Unless you squeeze that. Okay, so go to neutral. Yep, so go to neutral. Okay. Go up to neutral. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I don't then know you gotta what, push that red button forward. That's far out of my area. Push, right. push, forward. push it forward. There you go. Now go to reverse. There you go. Now go to park. James. That's how you do it. All right. Power so power now you get all the way back. Truck. I gotta give you the full lesson. It's best that you use it during this process. All right. So basically, what's gonna happen is you're gonna pull up. You're gonna light both bulbs, right? Mm -hmm. The light's gonna go green. You're gonna. Well, you don't. Okay. You're gonna light both bulbs. You're gonna hit this red button. Hold that red button for a sec. Okay? And then you let off the brake. The car's gonna be locked in position. When this is on, the car can't move because it's a trans brake, right? Okay. So at that point, you're gonna move your foot from the brake to the gas pedal, go all the way to the floor while holding it. Don't let off of this, okay? This is like the launch button, basically. All right. So you're gonna hear the car go. Da, 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 da. Once it starts going da, 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 and pop banging for about two or three seconds, it don't matter. You could do two seconds or five seconds. When you let off that button, it's all gonna come in. Okay, it's gonna leave. Come in meaning like it's all it's all gonna hit you. Like when you let off this. Oh, this, oh this is like when I'm launching. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought this would be like like doing a burnout in the box. No, 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 no. Okay, well, let's start from the top. You're gonna get in the burnout box. I'm gonna pull you forward, and then I'm gonna stop you. You're gonna be in first gear. I'm gonna go like this. Start to power brake it right, so foot on the brake, foot on the gas. The car is gonna spin the tires. When I give you this symbol, smack that into second. And then when I give you this symbol, roll out. It doesn't need a big burnout, it doesn't even need a good burnout. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a burnout in first and then I'm gonna go into second. And I'll and tell then, you when to go into second. Yeah. And you, then I'm gonna get off the gas. Keep your eyes on me and then yeah, 
and then once I tell you to go like this, just kind of let off the brake and coast out of it. Okay, and then I'm gonna come up to the door and talk to you. So I'll make sure you have everything right before you launch. The burnout is really not that crucial because this car hooks really well, okay? So after the burnout, you're gonna be back in first. You're gonna pull to the line, you're gonna light both bolts. Put your finger on the red button, okay? I'm at first. So you're gonna put on the brake. You're gonna have your foot on the brake. You're gonna press that red button. Holding it. Hold it, and then you're gonna move your foot from the brake to the gas all the way to the floor until you hear for a few seconds, like two, two, three seconds, and then let off that button, and it's gonna Ruby's gonna go. I let off the button, and then I'm like, yeah. Once you let off, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna have that down. I'm gonna leave it. Leave it up because your eyes are gonna be hilarious. We're gonna want to tighten these up because this is losing stuff. She's gonna fall. Or maybe not. I gave her a little finger tight. She took about a half turn. Alright, so kind. So then once you get down to the end, alright, so so it's gonna launch, you're gonna be in first gear, you're gonna see on the top left of this screen it go to about 68 6800 RPM or 7000 RPM. You just bang that forward My foot is pinned. All the time. So I'm going, it's pinned, and then I'm like, oh Yeah, second. When you see 68 or 7 on this, I mean, really, you can shift any time. Just okay. shift, try to shift before 7,000, you'll be good. But when it launches and it shifts you back in the seat, try to keep it floored all the way. Don't lift, because it'll go a lot faster if it's floored. <laughs> I'm going to hold it, yeah. Okay, so then you'll get to the end of the track. Once you're going about 10, 15 mile an hour, we'll pull it back into first and drive back in first. And then you'll pull up, hit the ignition button, shut it off, and we'll open the doors. Once I get slow, I'll just go. Oh. Important to note, this is how you open the door. See this lever? Yeah. Uh, Eight. He barely got his eight. Eight ninety-eight. <laughs> He's in the eights club. There you, go. there you go. No tens, no nines, no elevens for him. That's all right. He, yeah, dude. He skipped them all. <laughs> he had me a little flustered there for a second. I was yeah. like, man, come on. What? My legs are so short. 
that once I got in it, for like the first second, my foot came off the gas because I, I couldn't reach it. Oh my god. Woo! That is so much different than drifting. Holy shit. Oh, I, I have to do it again. I'm going to get back there and then I'm going to tell me my time is shit. Dude, that was insane. The moment, <laughs> the moment we went, I my foot couldn't reach the pedal, so like, I got off, off the gas. for like a second. Well, hey, let me tell you something. You're still in the eight second club. Dude, I gotta go again. <laughs> gotta like, go I, again. I have to go again. He's, I have to go again. My foot came, came off, off the pedal because I couldn't reach. Yeah, dude, I, it, you want I, to go again? I like it. I, I have to. Okay. I have to go again. Okay, I can let you go again. That was insane. <laughs> that was like the craziest thing I've ever- First person to pull up and still want to go again. I need to go again. <laughs> like, dude, when you go to second, I like glance and it's still like in second gear, like like still in the sixth. Oh, dude, you went to second like so fast. Okay, I went too early. way early, okay. way early, which is fine. Okay, well, I, I just didn't, I have it's to go. It's not as big of a deal as your foot coming off the gas. We gotta keep that baby pinned. Yeah, I gotta put a weight on that or some okay. shit. It just like <laughs> threw my so I was like, oh my god. Yeah. I saw you in there like, I saw you like take a deep breath and then I heard the transmission. <laughs> I was like, damn, he's like ready for this one. Dude, that was, that was the craziest thing in my life. That was insane. Good, right? That was insane. I'm like, yeah, I'm, so you went 8.9 at 150. That's garbage. That's garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that's garbage. I need to, you Taylor need got 8.7. Eight, you, you need to beat Taylor? Six. Yeah, I need to. Gary, Taylor smoked me. I mean, we can go right now. We just gotta put some ice in it and stuff. Actually, let me see. Um, yeah, we'll probably have to wait a sec. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that little... The water? A lot of water. It's all right. All right. No more fuel, at least. What's that? No more fuel? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna pop the right. I forgot to tell you guys in the video, so I'm making this clip like really, really quick. Ruby started to have a like water leak issue or something like that. And Garrett didn't want us to keep pushing the car, which is completely understandable. So that's why we didn't do the pass again. Uh, the two things that um, screwed me up and made me lose like two tenths of a second uh, was one, because I was so short, I couldn't really like fit that well into like the seat. We had like a bunch of blankets and stuff stacked behind my back so it pushed me closer uh and when i went to do the pass when i did that launch it, we did it's a, they said it's probably like a zero to 16 like 1.5 seconds so it was gnarly um it was such a like in, insane like gravity or like g-force push that it pushed my whole body back and lifted my foot off of the gas pedal like just so slightly um, so like I lost a couple seconds there and I was expecting that and it's still like without knowing how it felt wasn't able to, wasn't really able to wasn't really able to prepare for it so it literally like was so gnarly it pushed my foot off the gas pedal and two it's such like a tunnel vision it's just something I'm not used to so it was really hard to see when to shift so you can kind of see I shifted this a little bit early and then like second guessed and like it was such a blur but it was so crazy so amazing thank you so much Garrett for letting me drive your car I love you I'll never forget that and um, yeah that, that's it yeah all right we transported from the track we're actually at garrett's house right now beautiful house we don't want to film too much because it's back his privacy but we're in his backyard right now where we got the clearance to film he has a side by track a side by side track in his backyard and uh trevor has his crown vic here and we were trying to get trevor to jump it trevor's scared to jump it adam seems very confident that he could hit this jump backwards um so it's about to go down <laughs> this is a very early start tonight, and we haven't even had alcohol yet. Wait, he's just going for it? No, he's warming it up. Oh, yeah, that'll work for sure. Oh, you got it! I think it's gonna drag the and the nose at the same time. So, this video is probably gonna end pretty quickly out of this just because it's gonna get rowdy real quick, and I kind of just want to enjoy the night. But, oh, you're. Dude, it's hard to blow an airbag on the ground, dude. Remember it's the time true. I hit on the car challenge thing? Didn't blow an airbag. I mean, I pulled on one. my day, though. You want a helmet? What? You pull it helmet? around and pop the hood. We'll pull the airbag fuse. Yeah, okay. There we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, it's easy enough. I've stabbed him a bunch to make him not pop. Why not? 
feel like this might not work. Well, I'm gonna be confident because I believe in Adam, but I feel like this might not work. <laughs> Well, him not doing that? I, know, I feel like he's gonna lawn dart into the lift. Oh, bro, bro, that's why I want to pull the airbag. You. Yeah. Here, stop. I'm excited for this, boys. It's always exciting when you're not the one driving. I wouldn't. I would. I would be too scared. Oh! 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 <laughs> All right, this is where I'm ending today's video. I'm super tired. We have a super long day tomorrow and we go home tomorrow. So it's gonna be a very, very long day. But we're gonna do the best we can to make use of it. We have an early start, so I'm going to bed. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you haven't already, give the video a fat thumbs up because it helps out so much more than you know. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out and keep moving forward.